Pontiac Le Mans GTO 1972. In 1972, the GTO reverted from a separate model to a 353 US dollars and 88 cents option package for the Le Mans and Le Mans Sport Coupes. On the base Le Mans line, the GTO package could be had with either the low-priced Pillard Coupe or Hardtop Coupe. Both models came standard with cloth and vinyl or all vinyl bench seats and rubber floor mats on the Pillard Coupe and carpeting on the hardtop, creating a lower-priced GTO. The Le Mans Sport, offered only as a hardtop coupe, came with Strato bucket seats upholstered in vinyl, along with carpeting on the floor and lower door panels, vinyl door pull straps, custom pedal trim, and cushion steering wheel, much like GTOs of previous years. Other optional equipment was similar to 1971 and earlier models. Planned for 1972 as a GTO option was the ducktail rear spoiler from the Pontiac Firebird, but after a few cars were built with that option, the mold used to produce the spoiler broke, and it was cancelled. Rally 2 and Honeycomb wheels were optional on all GTOs, with the Honeycomb wheels now featuring red Pontiac Arrowhead emblems on the center caps while the Rally 2 wheels continued with the same caps as before, with the letters PMD, for Pontiac Motor Division. Power, now rated in CNET HP terms, was down further, to 250 horsepower, 190 kilowatts, at 4,400 revolutions per minute and 325 pounds-feet, 441 Nm, at 3,200 revolutions per minute torque for the base 400 engine. The optional 455 had the same rated power, although at a peak of 3,600 revolutions per minute, but substantially more torque. Most of the drop was attributable to the new rating system, which now reflected an engine in as installed condition with mufflers, accessories, and standard intake. The engines were relatively little changed from 1971. Optional was the 455 HO engine essentially similar to that used in the Trans Am. It was rated at 300 horsepower, 220 kilowatts, at 4,000 revolutions per minute and 415 pounds-feet, 563 Nm, at 3,200 revolutions per minute, also in the new CNED figures. Despite its modest 8.4 to 1 compression, it was as strong as many earlier engines with higher gross power ratings. Yet like all other 1,972 model engines, it could perform on low-octane regular leaded, low-lead, or unleaded types of gasoline. Only 646 cars with this engine were sold. Sales plummeted by 45%, to 5,811. Some sources discount the single convertible and the three anomalous wagons, listing the total as 5,807. Although Pontiac did not offer a production GTO convertible in 1972, a buyer could order a Le Mans Sport convertible with either of the three GTO engines and other sporty, performance options to create a GTO in all but name. Even the GTO's Endura bumper was offered as an option on Le Mans, Sport models, with Pontiac spelled out on the driver's side grille rather than GTO.